Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nitro Storm here. Welcome back to Revive the Witch. So, Metamorphosis has dropped and fortunately I managed to pull her. Um, if you guys do want me to upload summoning videos up for Revive the Witch in the future, do let me know that in the comments. I'll hopefully be sure to do so. Without further ado, let's get started with the quick guide, you know, how to use my opinions on her, stuff like that for Metamorphosis. So, First things first, we'll be taking a look at her skills. So we'll quickly go over them and then I'll show them in battle. So first things first is the first skill. So it may look a bit complicated, but it's actually pretty straightforward. So to simplify it, when you start a battle, Metamorphosis will start with a random mask. And it's between Rage, Joy and Sorrow. Rage is Red Aura with an Angry Face mask. And that buff is attack or increasing the attack of all allies based on Metamorphosis attack. Joy is a yellow aura with a smiley face mask and this buff will increase the damage dealt of all allies. And lastly, Sorrow is a sad face mask with the blue aura and that will decrease the damage taken by all allies. So when you start a, a fight, any battle, you will start off at random with one of these three masks. When you activate the first skill, the mask will change in a anti-clockwise formation. You can see the next mask that is about to be used by looking at the mask behind Metamorphosis, which I'll go into detail once we're in battle. And while switching the mask, you will heal all allies in your team based on Metamorphosis attack. And obviously your buff will change. However, the mask that you had before, the buff of that mask will still persist for 5 more seconds even after you switched, which is pretty nice and you can uh, create some combos with it. But of course that will have to be in manual play for it to be used effectively. Now her second skill is a chaos skill, you know, no charge skills this time. Uh, it's 4 cost, this one's 2 cost. So the chaos skill emotion surge will deal physical damage equal to a uh, percentage of her attack to all enemies. It will increase the effect of Borrow, which is the first skill. And by increasing the effect of Borrow, it's essentially increasing the uh, buff of the mask that you currently have. And after that, it will increase all allies' damage or healing effect of their next active skill by a certain percent. This last sentence, that buff is separate for all allies. So if you have two other allies, this buff, the increased percentage of damage or healing buff will stay until they use a skill. Even if someone else uses a skill, it will only use up their own buff. So which is pretty nice as it affects everyone and it's a separate buff for each. However, this increase all allies damage or healing effect of the next active skill for Metamorphosis herself will only apply to Emotion Surge because the buff gets used up right away by the damage of this skill. So realistically, you're actually dealing 240% increased 60% at the same time. So technically 300% of attack to all enemies. Well, not really because it's an increased damage. So increasing 240% by 60%, which is a higher value. And lastly, her passive. So every, ten, every other 10 seconds, Metamorphosis will receive an attack buff, which is pretty straightforward. So now that we have an, un, a quick understanding on her skills, let's take a look at her in battle. So, as I've mentioned, you start off with a random mask, and the next mask that you will switch to is the mask that is currently behind Metamorphosis. And when you switch mask is in a controlled fashion where it's always in an anti-clockwise formation. So. We start off with Sorrow. Next mask after Sorrow, it's always Joy. The next mask after Joy is always Rage. And the next mask after Rage is always Sorrow. So knowing this information, you will now see that she is more stable of a unit than you may have first thought. Secondly, the buff that the current mask is giving is permanent until you switch mask at which the old buff will stay for 5 seconds longer and disappear and now you will be left with the buff of the current mask. 
So in this example, as you can see, <clears throat> we have attack buff because of rage mask. And this buff will stay forever as long as this mask is active. And then for the second skill, if I quickly activate and pause, she has the increase next skill damage buff on top of her increase attack buff from the mask. But as I've mentioned earlier, the increased next skill damage will only apply to the second skill because that buff instantly disappears after I deal damage with the second skill. Therefore, you cannot actually buff, like Metamorphosis herself cannot actually buff her own first skill, which I think is good for balancing purposes anyway. So just to keep that in mind. So just to quickly clarify, switching mask will heal the team and at the same time, switching the mask to your next buff. So just to quickly go over, Joy is yellow, increase damage. Red is rage, increase attack. Blue is sorrow, increase, no, decrease damage taken. And then the second skill will buff everyone's next skill or healing by a certain percent. And uh, that's about it. So you now have a better understanding on metamorphosis and you may have noticed that she may work, let's know, she will work most effectively in manual, but you can um, use her in default mode auto and free mode auto, which I'll uh, show you guys how this works right now. So we'll start off with uh, default auto and we'll just use an example team with um, Ella, Toenail and Metamorphosis. So essentially you just press auto really and then I'll just explain to you how her auto works. So when you auto with a DPS like Ella, they will prioritize Ella's first skill outside of Arcana Burst. But during Arcana Burst, they will use all of their order skills. And as you can as you notice here, Metamorphosis is also using her second skill. And right at the start of battle, uh, they will prioritize transformation, as I've mentioned in my auto video. They prioritized Ella's transformation first before we started to use Metamorphosis' second skill. And after that, the amount of times she uh, switches during battle is uh, random. It could vary between three times and two times or more. And because of that, you won't really be able to control the current active mask. And so you may kind of lose out on damage outside of Arcana Burst. But overall, it's still, I'd say it's still pretty effective in my opinion. Alright, so now let's switch to Free Mode Auto. This one, I'd say it has a bit more control, but the, um, you know, the amount of manual play you would have to do is going to be a bit, um, you know, a bit too much. But it should be alright. So first things first, you set this. And then you turn off auto. And then you first switch your mask, right? Let's say I, I wasn't at rage. You switch to rage. And then transform with Ella. And then you turn back auto with your initial settings. And then make sure during Arcana Burst, you have um, Metamorphosis second skill active. And then you essentially just leave it alone. So as you can see, there was a bit of manual play. Uh, firstly, I set these two skills outside of Arcana Burst and I turned off Auto so I can manually uh, transform Ella and then during Arcana Burst I set Metamorphosis second skill as well because I've already set my mask to Rage. And then pretty much after this you essentially just uh, watch because your mask is already set so you don't really need to change it. So you lose a bit of effectiveness because you're not getting the buff from Joy as well. But it's not really such a big deal if you're still essentially autoing. You just need to keep in mind the first part that I've shown in this video. And that's pretty much about it. As you can see, the DPS is actually higher compared to the other one. But you know, take of this at what you will. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the, uh, the guide. 
now I get my final thoughts on Metamorphosis. So in my opinion, she's actually pretty good overall. Um, her buffs are very controlled. Um, it's more random when you're doing default auto. You need to do a little bit of manual setup for free mode auto, but she's still decently effective in free mode. And on default, you could say she's a little bit less effective. However, because of default auto, like the way it works, during Arcana Burst, she's going to be giving everyone all the buffs. So you could think of it like Ella getting all the buffs at the same time and stuff like that. So obviously free mode and default have their ups and downs. Default, you don't need to touch anything and then Metamorphosis will do fine. Free mode, you can manually set the mask and essentially do more damage, but you miss out on the other masks during Arcana Burst, which is okay. And obviously she will work the most effectively on manual because you're able to, you know, um, time her masks to use Joy and Rage, for example, and then use the buff here and then Ella's going to be like big damage or any destroyer that you have up front. And so my final thoughts, is she worth pulling for? I would say, you know... Let's say you're saving up for another character, right? Because there are more characters coming, like Catherine, for example. I would at least always do the discount multi. So even if you don't want um, Metamorphosis or Nana from the previous banner, I would highly suggest always doing the discount summon because it's only 1,000 souls, 50% off, which is huge. Because as you can see, otherwise it will cost 2,000 to do a multi. And if you're a free-to-play, it's going to be kind of difficult gaining these souls over time. As you can see, I only have 8 left. And that is only enough for 4 multis or 8 multis if I only summon on discount. So, I would say 100% going for the discount regardless of the banner. But going for Metamorphosis herself, I would say she is a worthy pick. Especially if you're focusing on Saltstone teams. So in this example, I guess your prime Saltstone team for, I guess, overall content would be Ella, Tonel, and uh, Metamorphosis. You can use Yui instead or any other Saltstone DPS. So, Saltstone DPS would be Destroyer. So, you can use Yui, right? Because she does have like a transformation and stuff, you know. So, it doesn't have to be Ella, but I think, like, in terms of high rarity units, this is probably, I guess, your current saltstone team like your go-to team and so if you do want to help out your ella for example then she is definitely worth getting but if you're saving up for another character then i guess you don't need to go in too deep just in case you might not have enough currency to pull for the future banners but if you do get lucky you know congratulations in any case if you guys have any more questions regarding metamorphosis herself do let me know in the comments um, I believe I've gone through um, everything I need to when it comes to using her and stuff and hopefully that gives you guys a better understanding on how to use her on like manual, free auto and full auto. It's been your boy Nitro Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.